by hedging we mean taking a smaller risk in order to avoid a larger risk hedging is of two types a short hedge and a long hedge basically it is a position of the hedge owner in the market to understand the mechanics of a short hedge let take an example uh, the example is of a farmer of a wheat the name of whose is ableman in june ableman anticipates a harvest of 50000 bushels of wheat at september end now there are two alternatives for him to act at first he can write future contracts on the anticipated wheat harvest uh, the the september wheat on the chicago board that is a financial trading exchange is traded at 3.75 dollar per bushel on january 1 and that is the uh, trading rate of the bushel on this particular exchange the farmer can write 10 bushels on uh, september at the rate of 3.75 per bushel now we assume that there is some carrying cost of 30 cents per bushel so after deducting the this carrying cost the net earning of able man would be equal to 3.45 per bushel the second option with able man is that he can harvest without writing any future contracts in this case there is a higher risk of price change because there is a uh, no person that can know what price in september would be and second if there is any rise in the price able man would be in profit and in case of decline in the price he will suffer some loss accordingly now the strategy one in which the able man is writing a future contract uh, it involves a hedge and hedge is a position in the futures market that offsets the risk of person in actual uh, means the person is physically holding some commodity in the market and in strategy strategy 2 where the able man is right does is not writing any hedge that is an unhedged position uh, because there is no attempt by the hedge uh, by the able man to use future to uh, fu to use future markets to reduce the unforeseen risk now hedging seems a quite sensible act but it might not be adopted by someone due to certain reasons like the person may be unaware to reduce risk through hedging or the person uh, may have a special insight or info regarding the favorable price changes in the market in the days to come now in strategy 1 where the farmer is taking a hedge position it is this strategy is termed as a short hedging or a short hedge as it reducing the risk by selling future contracts it is very common hedge in the hedge market it occurs where someone enters uh, either anticipates receiving inventory or he is holding that particular inventory in the market and in our example it is able man that is harvesting wheat in the market and and that man is taking a short position rather uh, means a short hedge now how long hedge position works let take another example on april 1 uh, moon agrees to sell petro oil to us government in future and delivery dates and prices have been already set now moon read uh, needs to have large quantities of oil on hand when uh, to deliver this oil to the uh, us government firm now moon can get oil in one of the two ways the first way is to buy the oil as the firm needs it now this is an unhedged position on april 1 because moon does not know the prices it will have to pay for the oil in the future moon is bearing a, a little amount of riskiness in this particular situation Uh, because already fixed sale prices uh, to the us government has been agreed by moon and in this case now is there 
any increase in the cost the moon cannot pass on this cost to the us government the second option with the moon with moon is to buy some future contracts uh, in in this case the moon will buying future contracts with the expiration date right in line with the date moon needs to deliver the oil uh, it will log in the purchase price to the moon so moon will be uh, happily to pay the price in case there is any rise in the price in this situation the moon has hedged the risk of fluctuation in the oil prices now this strategy too in which the moon is going for a hedge that hedge is called as a long hedge in which the moon is buying a future contracts to reduce his risk of any rise in oil prices in the days to come so moon is taking a long position in the future markets in long hedge position a firm is committed to a fixed sale price so that uh, that is the reason the firm is taking a long position so we can say that for going into a longer position a prerequisite is that the investor is holding a price fixed for the days to come now in that situation moon is unable to pass on cost to the buyer or does not want to pass on these cost to the buyer when someone takes a longer hedge this means that the price is as has been fixed by that person now the person is either unable to pass on cost to the buyer or the person does not want pass on these cost to the buyer in the days to come now assume that had the oil were to be sold to a private industry rather than the us government at the current prevailing prices in the future then price rise could easily be passed on to the buyer as it rises in future in that particular case moon might follow the strategy one means moon might not went for the hedge rather it will take an unhedged position